It's time to learn, repair, and maintain everything coffee. Instructional videos brought to you by WholeLatteLove.com. Hi, I'm Todd with Whole Latte Love, and today we're going to look at how to remove a stuck brew group from a Gaja Brera. It could be a bunch of reasons why it gets stuck, and right now we're not really worried about that. It's just like, if it happens, here's what you got to do. Right now, we got it, I, I got it stuck in right now by just turning the machine off when it was mid-cycle. So that's what I've done to simulate the problem. Take out your brew group. That needs a cleaning. Okay, or your dredge drawer, excuse me. Go ahead and try and... Oh my, it, it won't, will not come, it won't come out. Okay, in this case, well, well, first thing you'll do is turn the machine off and then back on again. Try and do a power cycle so it actually gets back to its home position. That may work for you. So just use the switch on the back of the machine yep. here and yep. turn it exactly. off and on. Turn it off and on, okay. and then the red light on the front of the machine will blink here. Just push that button to try and turn it on. And a lot of times that'll solve the problem? That's correct. Okay. And if it doesn't, then we have to do it manually. First you come in here and check this arrow here. That's, and then uh, where's the, that's the arrow here. If this turns all the way around to there, so they line up, you're in your home position and it really should come out. Mm -hmm. You know, just give a little more force and you pull. And there's that, that little tiny arrow up there. Oh, yeah, there right there. Yep. Yep. So those should match. They should match right over there. And if mm -hmm. they do, it should come out. It should come out. You know, just make sure you're pushing on that good. Give it a firm push where it says push. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and give it a good firm pull. Okay. okay. You know? Uh, if that doesn't work, well, you got to go to plan B. Plan B is we've got to pull out this screw right here. It's a T10, which is the Torx. Let me just pull back and show yep. where that is. So okay. Okay. Yep. yep. Okay. So we're going to pull that out. So you got to kind of go at it at a little bit of an angle there. Yeah. It's Fortunately, it's, it's not bad, though. That's why you got to have one long enough where you can get a good angle. If you get a little stubby tool won't work. It'll be right. too short. Okay. That's kind of a long screw, huh? Yes, it is. Come on, you. Okay. Now the fun part. You go to pull on it. It still doesn't want to come. Okay. Don't be afraid. Just, <laughs> yeah, just, just, just. Be a man. Exactly. Yank it. Put, put your hand, this hand on here, and just pull. It'll come. You left a little something behind yep. there. This goes up onto the brew spout. And then you take this, just pull that off. This came out of here, okay? That's how the water gets up into the brew group. That's where that came from. So at this point, what we'll do to put it back on, we'll lower this down. But you can pull on this lever down here, it makes it easy. That makes it go up. Oop, look, we got coffee. <laughs> oh, that's a mess. Okay. Oh, that's could end up like that, right? Yeah, so have a rag handy. Um, so we'll get this back to its home position, we'll pull it down, and then we'll get, so we're going all the way down and in, so these line up, okay? See that? Yeah, that's how those, okay. Okay, put your screw into there, and now when it's in its home position, you're able to use that. You have to use this hole oh. up here to line up. Oops. There we go. Oh crap. Got to push it in there first. Okay. Now it's in. Now you can just tighten that down. And you can just use a little more focus than I use when you do it. <laughs> I'm busy trying to keep my hands out of the way of that camera. Okay. Um, good. So now you think you're ready to go, but you're really not. So what happens when you go to push this in, Oh my, it won't go. That's because this is not in its home position. That, the brew group here, that goes into that. These grooves go into there, and we have to get, to, uh, so we have to get this back to its home position. Let's do that. Let me uh, get some of my mess out of here. So what we'll do, we have three switches that have to be tripped. And then turn the machine on. This tab on the dredge drawer hits this one here, okay? Cut a piece of cardboard, a little over one inch or approximately one inches long here. will fit up into here. There's a, let me show you. There's an end switch right there mm -hmm. that pushes in that way, okay? 
to the right. You gotta trip that. So I take this, push this in from the top, and down. You might be able to hear a click. Yep. Okay. That. Yeah. And normally you would close the door, but for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna leave the door open. Because there's another one. And another switch I can trip, which is right up here. Okay. okay. So now I'll turn the machine on. I'm just turning the power on in the back. Back, yep. And okay, red light's flashing. Turn the power light on the front, or power switch on the front. And now, of course, we've got a thing, the door's open. Right. So I'll hit this. Okay. You're gonna fake it out. Fake it out. Now yeah. it's going back. It's gonna go, it may go through one or two cycles, depending on. It may even have water pump out of this spout here, depending on where it's in the cycle. Okay, in this particular time it is. So just let, it, let the water run. All the water will go into the drip tray. It goes down through a little hole here. That's not a problem. And that's hot water, maybe, right? Yep. <laughs> Tempting as it is. Yeah. So let now, that. Now you're faking out the switch up here, basically. Correct. But up. you could yeah. just close the door. Yeah, close the, the door. Do the same thing. Right. Yeah. I just wanted to see how uh, how the how this moves. Now you you notice it goes back. You can hear the motor going. Now it should fit in. Okay. okay. Pull the dredge door out. Again, make sure you press on that. Home position. Light it up in the tracks like normal. Oh, you got something in the back there. Did I do that? Pull the cardboard out. <laughs> <laughs> and then slide it in. Use coffee container. Close the door. And you're good to go. And the machine says ready. Yep. Beautiful. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelottelove.com.